time and let's see what's coming your way and it looks like that is a fire sign we do have the queen of wands pisces uh, pisces why do i say pisces aries leo sagittarius and the uh five of wands in reverse so somebody reached a sense of peace of mind might be a fire sign and their energy might be more predominant now right three of wands they're waiting for you somebody solved like an, an internal conflict of some sort when it um came to you and now they're waiting expecting actually result we do have the magician in reverse and the queen of wands somebody lacks confidence to come forward um pisces and maybe that fire sign of yours Page of Cups, they did something wrong and they want to apologize. Page of Cups is also a cup of love. Um, it's reconsidering emotions, starting over, starting a new cycle, having um, or developing new feelings for you. And the Page of Swords and wanting to talk about. Okay, you have a fire sign in chit-chatting mode, but it's more like I'm going to wait here. I'm going to look pretty. Queen of Wands, we know she looks pretty, you know. Um, and you better come. You know, I've been foolish, but it doesn't matter. We don't have the fool in reverse, right? I've been foolish. I've been um, childish about, but I still wait for you. And you better come because I have something to say, you know? <laughs> yeah, I know. Bottom of the deck, the death. Scorpio energy. And six of swords. And the queen of cups. So I don't know who's going through a very peaceful period. It looks like you are. You might be upside down uh, because of a separation, the death. But boy, the Six of Swords speaks of peace of mind. So I guess I'm picking up the energy of a Pisces who is at peace after an ending. Finally, right? It has this energy of relief. Um, and feeling better, finally, right? So let's see this one. It turned Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. We've been rejected and now we might see um, things changing and opening up for us. So let's see what this is all about. Definitely you are at, uh, at a distance from this person. You show up in reverse here, but also emotional and vulnerable at this time. And coming to terms, Six of Swords, Peace of Mind, Less Tormented Waters, right? So past energies, Pisces on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And of course, you take the side you resonate the most with and you, own, you only take um, what's yours, right? Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and the possible outcome. You, your person and the mutual. Um, three of Swords in reverse. We are absolutely recovering. I'm picking up the energy of a Pisces who is on a journey, a beautiful journey. It ended probably abruptly in rejection and heartbreak. Um, and I feel with the Six of Swords and you slowly showing up as the overall energy. It's like, you know, getting a grip on the situation also on yourself and what it, uh, it created within you. Um... So it's interesting, Pisces, right? We have the moon and we have the six of cups and it kind of tells me the level of love and connection you gave to this person, right? Six of cups is the energy of, uh, of a soulmate bond, of a body, mind and soul, of a committed emotional bond, right? And, uh, and you show up here and you might have been, it has this energy of being afraid of the connection, you know, when we decide to jump, but we know the person is, you know, um, um, might create anxiety. They might be different. We never had that type of bond or connection. We never had that type of person, you know, and we said yes to, but then it comes with, it came probably with, um, with some fear and some shadows and some darkness. But at the end of the day, we felt the strong bond with this person. Now, um, Pisces, this person of yours, Five of Cups and the Two of Swords, definitely thinking of the, and probably it's been a, a, a while ago because we, we had the separation in the past even, and uh, we have them, uh, he or she, extremely regretful for what they've done with the Five of Cups, extremely emotional, just like you and thinking and contemplating. And Two of Swords is a blindfolded energy, right? So they don't see much, but they think about it, about um, what happened. 
Um, and also uh, trying to make sense between the mind and the heart. The Five of Cups is the energy of the heart, is the energy of emotions, is the energy of of a world that we don't always have a lot of control over. And then the Two of Swords, the mind um, and the thinking and the um, obsessing and the um, limitations of right of the mind in a context of separation, divorce, and um, so on and so forth. So. Mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands. Most certainly a quick shift in movement. This feels like um, um, going out and never coming back, right? The Eight of Wands is um, is um, swiftly um, abandoning probably um, a nest of some sort. Ten of Pentacles is the energy of stability, um, legacy, family, and a, a family nest. And um, we changed and... Um, we disconnected, somebody did, um, abruptly. Uh, with regrets, they did it with a lot of thought or after a lot of thought, you know, because Two of Swords, it is a lot of thinking put into um, abandoning um, something that looked quite stable, right? So, Pisces, where are we right now? We do have the Justice in Reverse and the Eight of Cups, and I know it feels like an injustice, right? We are... Um, um, enraged it has this energy of frustration and rage um, of the unfairness of somebody disconnecting emotionally and walking away for a mission that was more important right it, it, it has this feeling what was more important than family right eight of cups walking away for a mission seems so unfair to you right and we are dealing every day with the whys of um, of this, but I'm comforted by the overall energy because Six of Swords, it is peace of mind. It is letting go. It is needing uh, to have a quiet day from time to time and simply accepting and allowing and saying, you know, this is what it is. Um, but the unfairness of this, um, it's uh, probably uh, frustrating to you and it's, um, I don't want to say it's killing you, but that's what I'm hearing. So it's killing me, the frustration. So um, this person of yours, King of Wands, might uh, be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So at this time, they are not focusing on this connection. Work is not for them at this time, right? Two of Pentacles is really feeling responsible. But I guess because they had regrets in the past, somebody came to terms and decided, you know what, if I want to be my fiery self, if I want to be in control with the King of Wands, um, if I want to be a leader in whatever I'm um, experiencing right now, I better let go. Two of Pentacles in reverse, and that's exactly what they are doing. Um, King of Wands is um, taking control, right? It's uh, it's not the ultimate, but it's uh, quite a mature, uh, wise energy where they take leadership of their own life and decide to do something about. Now, mutual energy is between the two of you. We do have the chariot, cancer energy, and the death in reverse. So at this time, this is current moment, right? We are um, distancing ourselves from unfinished business. Um, chariot is really breaking free, breaking boundaries, seeing, uh, developing uh, something for the future, a plan of some sort, and um, aiming to be successful at something. So I kind of feel again, um, because I'm seeing peace of mind on your side and on their side, I see them taking control. I kind of feel that for now, you have your goal, they have theirs, right? Um, and um, and we are moving away from whatever happened and the way it happened, the death in reverse, right? The unfinished business. And it's interesting, we have, we started with the death upright and we have it right now as uh, being in reverse so I kind of feel that closure is coming we shift energies from unfinished to finished I don't think because of communication it doesn't feel like at this point but it's more like a personal journey of healing on both um, sides let's have the possible outcome we do have the king of wands and we have the magician in reverse so i feel pisces you are dealing with a fire sign and and somebody here is lacking confidence um i would pay attention to uh people manipulating a situation i would pay attention to um what do we say to ourselves about them because the magician in reverse can also be your energy and um that is a sense of uh, either us not telling the truth to ourselves or 
somebody manipulating a situation so that they look better they look like the king of wands they look in control they look mature you know there is a lot of sliding um on their part i would say um it has this energy of them letting go but not wanting to show that it's like letting go right so they are kind of pulling strings and and presenting themselves in a light um you know but at the end of the day king of wands right they want to take control of the of this all and end something and and with a chariot kind of um you know take their life in some way to the next level on their side they do have the four of swords in reverse and the king of pentacles in reverse right so taking action taking action they've been just like you um confined in a space of thinking two of swords with the four of swords is a lot of thinking for someone um and um and one is blindfolded thinking so it's internal it's with the elements that we have in our mind and the four of swords is a lot of thinking but more about the future so they combine the two and you know the result and the kind of the conclusion of all that thinking uh was a need for stability and a need to be themselves you know whatever that means for someone out there but that is a strong personal um struggle on their side on a, on a fire sign or maybe you are and you have fire in your chat but that is a strong journey here of someone deciding to be their most authentic self and um and uh, as a consequence feel more stable right because uh, king of uh, wands king of pentacles in reverse right and i feel it's the same energy it's just shifting towards um what was more important for them uh, mutual energy is coming your way the outcome of this it's the judgment in reverse and the sun in reverse so both unhappy but a decision cannot be made at this time um for multiple reasons right one is healing the other one is uh coming into themselves uh in their own energy so i'm not seeing a reconciliation might be one on the table maybe later because we do have the judgment and we know it's about second chances we have the sun and the judgment what make what would make both of you happy is a reconciliation right the sun and the judgment upright is all about the happiness of coming together again and having a second um shot at, at this connection but for now a decision is not made i'm not seeing emotions i'm not seeing love i see you loving them uh, a lot in the past but um i'm just saying right focused on themselves you are focused on yourself it's a lot of personal um ascension a lot of personal ascension so pisces let's ask for some guidance what exactly we sh should we uh do with this so first of all silver waterfall we need to be transparent we need to speak our truth while we protect ourselves behind a silver waterfall we do have life purpose so this is uh you're being guided to focus on what's important for you your um destination um where to put your energy the rainbow reviver you need to have a little bit of fun and maybe life purpose your life purpose involves some fun right maybe you are an artist you are a creator and um and you are guided actually to um uh, pump up and we have enlightenment i am so not surprised it's a combination of have fun but stay in the light right uh, pisces and be transparent about and bottom of the deck express love through gift a small token of love can convey great appreciation so i don't feel you are guided towards this person but there is no doubt you are guided to be honest and it's it's maybe an exercise of honesty um relationships versus life purpose what is your life purpose and how a connection can fit into right someone's um, life purpose because that is also another it's a dichotomy of some sort right you have um self-protection the relationships life purpose and then you have have fun and enlightenment again two distinct energies right one is a very 3d energy and one is 5d so are kind of guided to merge both worlds here and uh, really deeply think about um so let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow and we have surrendered to the magic of who you are i'm so not surprised with we just uh, received 
it's guidance, right? Um, magic, luminosity, awakening, and magic in the rainbow reviver. Um, so surrender to the magic of who you are, Pisces. We all have magic in us. Even in the mundane aspects of life, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. Just in case you forgot, Pisces, you are magic. We do have life purpose and freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Life purpose and happiness. Um, Pisces, I do feel that you are guided elsewhere um, at this time. We do have the rainbow reviver and death. Maybe what changed this connection was, you know, when we start um, to talk serious business, uh, people might uh, decide to, you know, um, it's not fun. So I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So you have rainbow reviver and death can also be guidance for you. You know, now that it's over, how about we bring some fun back? And we have surrender to wonder and all. And we have surrender to magic and we have surrender to wonder and all. So you are taking yourself way too seriously lately, Pisces. Um, well, I don't know if it's a guided to be goofy because then we have uh, awakenings and life purpose. So I'm not that sure. But when it comes to fun, someone here is really pushed. And I know pandemic really cut all the, uh, all the fun. But hey. We still can do it online, right? Have some fun with friends. So anyways, open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow and bottom of the deck, surrender to complete healing. I am so not surprised again. This is all about you, Pisces. This is all about you. So open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Again, I'm, I don't feel you are guided towards this person. This is really you and, and uh, nobody else. Um, so Pisces, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.